Hi, right, Kathy. Yeah, you're going to need to tweak the default bootstrap padding. You see this? See what happens when the page shrinks down? See how everything pops in there? That's the way bootstrap is naturally defined to go. But you can override that. And what happens is it's a container width. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, and let's just inspect this with uh, Firebug, is go into your bootstrap.css. Okay. Which is, looks like this here. And we're going to find, we're going to do a control F and do dot container. All right, look for container, okay, and find next, and next, and next, and next, next, next. It's this one right here, this min width. You see this min width of 768? See where it says right here? Find the 750, change it to 100%. Do the same for the 970, 100%. Okay, and the 1200 doesn't matter because that's well outside of tablet range anyways, but these are the two tablet specs right here. And what happens when it's 768, it changes the width to 750, is it's knocking off about 20 pixels each side, uh, the same with this one right here. Um, if we were to scr scrunch this down until it pops, there it is. You see how it pops over, All right? Inspect with Firebug, we're going to go and find the uh, container, and right here, See that 750? We're going to change that to 100%. And now you're going to have more room in your page automatically. Okay. Um, that's the first thing. The next thing is just adjust the paddings for these menu buttons right here. So, and it's a text indent. So go to your fonts.css line 792. See the text indent of 2.75 EM? Just change that to like 20 PX. Now you have more room here, right? A um, little bit more room. And what else are we going to do? Text indent 20px. Let's change that to 5px. There we go. Okay. So I changed the text indent to 5px. That really scrunches things over. It gives you more room there to work with. Right. The other thing you can do is um, the overall button itself. Right. See there's a... Uh, a margin left so go to the LM components uh, line 280 and see the margin left right here of 15 pixels just make that like five pixels so just a matter of, of hunting and picking until you have more room okay now the main button up here right you can change the padding a little bit on that one as well right and that's just going to be font 743 yeah I know you're gonna have to like be um, pause in the video and whatnot but uh, this is the padding right here so that's the top that's the right that's the bottom and this is the left padding here that's the one we can make the biggest difference with so we'll change it to 5px see how you have a lot more room now and change the font size change the font size to like 14 and there you go now everything fits right and the font size is right here same thing fonts is 743 so that pretty much just a matter of finding hand picking the styles uh, when you have that sort of a thing so that you can get it to fit uh, better into your, your tablet interface, right? Boom, before it pops over to that. But the problem is this right here is just the, the switching over. But you're, you're, you're using columns, right? So let's take a look at your... Um, I'm going to go to the page source for a second. In Bootstrap, you it's designed on columns, right? So small icons and we use a default of column small which basically says on a phone go down to and do this right but you may want to change this to go find your code right here there's the welcome okay cool so that's where it says anyways you have to do this in your I'll just do this in the expression web here create a new page okay so where are we at there? There's our slider, social icon, Google search. Okay. So here's the side box left, right? See how we have a column small three? Change that to an MD for medium. Okay. And then we scroll on down a little bit. That's all the side menu there. And design view, side box left. And then the next one down here, the center column, change that to an MD instead of SM. Okay. So what's going to happen is when you're in a tablet in portrait view, it's going to look more like the, the portrait view is going to kick over earlier, so everything's going to go into a single column for your tablet, which is probably better, right? Then you never have to worry about that. The menu's there, right? 
can scroll all down and then when they switch it over to a landscape view it's going to pop up to the normal looking site.